Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is uh, June 14th, I believe. And I think my screen's a little crooked, but that's because I'm sitting on the couch. I wanted to share a quick dream I had last night. Um, I know I've had some other ones I need to go back through, but I wanted to go ahead and share this one because um, I thought it was very interesting and possibly encouraging. So I'm going to share it with you guys. And as always, ask you guys to please pray for discernment. Take everything to the Lord. And uh, pray on it. So, in the dream last night, I was um, with my husband and a man named John. And I was taken up on this, it looked at the time, it looked like a hill. And the man John gave me certain areas to mow the grass. And I so I took the lawnmower and I was mowing the grass. And... I saw that after I mowed the grass, it was a, uh, there was a, a design on the grass, like uh, two, two lines down, two lines across. The symbols were used for um, numbers, like the, the little hashtag thing there. Okay, and it was light grass and dark grass. So I just noticed that's what it looked like when I got done mowing. And then he would show me only certain areas to mow the grass. And then... After that, I walked to this area where I saw a glass house. It looked like a greenhouse, like the like the size of a small greenhouse. And it was all glass, and all the trim was this beautiful gold. And it had these fancy designs on, um, like the coming down like off the roof part and stuff. It was all in gold, and it was kind of circly, in like kind of a, a swoop, and just pretty, really pretty design. And this this place was just absolutely beautiful. At this point, I realized that I was above the earth, because when I went to go walk into this house, I knew that underneath me was the earth and, uh, you know, people. So, I walked into this this beautiful glass house, and it was full of clocks. The whole thing was full of clocks, and there were some other things in there, but I wasn't allowed or able to identify the other things. Now, I couldn't see the details on the clock, only one. And this one was a big clock. It was black with a white face, and it was leaning up against the one wall, like in the corner. And it was in Roman numerals, and the only numbers I could see was from 12 to 3. And I noticed it had no hands on it, okay? So these these clocks, I realized, uh, or it was given a knowing that they had there was no hands on the clock, okay? So I walked very carefully through this, uh, just being careful where I stepped. And again, I realized that I was above the earth. And then I left there. And I was talking to... Um, a woman after this and I was showing her from the earth I was showing her where this hill was that I mowed the grass and then I showed her where this glass house was and that was pretty much all of the the, the dream was that so I've been praying on it this morning and the Lord brought back another dream to me which was a dream I had many many years ago where I had was shown the same exact clock Okay, it was a black clock with a white face and um, with Roman numerals. And in this dream, though, the time read like five minutes to three. And in this dream, I saw two angels and I heard the one clearly say, when the last crop is harvested, he will come and he will come in the cool of the day. And at that point, I was shown a... Uh, a patch of wheat, like a four patch of golden wheat. So I don't, I'm not saying that this, uh, this is connected, but as I'm sitting here praying on it, that was uh, a dream that he brought back to me. Um, as you guys know, I've shared dreams for a long time. So many of them I've, I, uh, don't remember, or, you know, like I said, just forget about. So that was the dream, and I just thought that was pretty encouraging because what it's saying to me is there's just no time. 
And I know many people get dreams about the same thing. There's no time left and it's time or whatever. But I, uh, I know this was from the Lord and I know this was super encouraging. And just that glass house, I wished I could put into words how beautiful it was. It was absolutely the most beautiful thing. And it was just all glass. The whole, the roof, the sides, everything was glass. And the most beautiful gold. It was trimmed in the most beautiful gold. And, and in this room was just full of clocks. And like I said, they had no hands on it. Um, and then to see that same clock. And I know there was other items in there, but I wasn't allowed to... Um, really identify them I guess just I just knew that this was a very special place so that was a dream and so I hope it encourages you guys and as always please take uh everything that I say and anybody else please take it to the Lord in prayer ask and pray for discernment and I'm interested to see what you guys think about it so I know I've had some other dreams many are are just Dreams that he's actually shown me people to pray for, uh, mostly in my family, uh, to lift up to him and to pray things that they're having issues with. So it's it's pretty interesting that things are are definitely more detailed. Um, and, and what I mean by is the people that he's asking me to pray for it's there it's detailed as I've was shown what their issues are and what to pray for, and. I've had a, f a few other interesting dreams that are similar to this. And to be honest, you guys, it's just all pointing to the time that we are. I just can't imagine it going on too much longer. But then I stop and think, well, the Lord does give us. Uh, he, he shows us things, but he also gives us time because he is a, a gracious God. Um, he gives us time to get right and to pray for and and be ready so i don't know it's just uh thought it was exciting so let me know what you guys think and i pray for each and every one of you pray you have a great day all right bye